The Polish resistance movement in World War II, with the Polish Home Army at its forefront, was the largest underground resistance movement in all of occupied Europe, covering both German and Soviet zones of occupation. The Polish resistance is most notable for disrupting German supply lines to the Eastern Front, providing military intelligence to the British, and for saving more Jewish lives in the Holocaust than any other Western Allied organization or government. It was a part of the Polish underground state. Topic. Organizations The largest of all Polish resistance organizations was the Armia Krajowa Home Army, AK, loyal to the Polish government in exile in London. The AK was formed in 1942 from the Union for Armed Combat Zwiazek Waki Z Brojnej or ZWZ, itself created in 1939 and would eventually incorporate most other Polish armed resistance groups except for the communists and some far-right groups. It was the military arm of the Polish underground state and loyal to the Polish government in exile. Most of the other Polish underground armed organizations were created by a political party or faction and included the Battalioni Kloski Peasants Battalions. Created by the Leftist People's Party around 1940-1941, it would partially merge with AK around 1942-1943. The Guardia Ludowa WRN People's Guard of WRN of Polish Socialist Party PPS joined ZWZ around 1940, subsequently merged into AK. The Konfederacja Narodu Confederation of the Nation. Created in 1940 by far-right Oboz Narodowo Radikalni Falanga National Radical Camp Falanga. It would partially merge with ZWZ around 1941 and finally join AK around fall 1943. The Narodowa Organizacja Waskoa National Military Organization, established by the National Party in 1939, mostly integrated with AK around 1942. Narodow Sili Z Brogne National Armed Forces, created in 1943 from dissatisfied NOW units, which refused to be subordinated to the AK. The Oboz Polski Walczak Camp of Fighting Poland, established by the Oboz Zjednoczenia Narodowego Camp of National Unity around 1942, subordinated to AK. In 1943, the largest groups that refused to join the AK were the National Armed Forces and the pro-Soviet and Communist People's Army Polish Armia Ludowa or AL, backed by the Soviet Union and established by the Polish Workers' Party Polish Polska Parsha Robotnica or PPR. Within the framework of the entire enemy intelligence operations directed against Germany, the intelligence service of the Polish resistance movement assumed major significance. The scope and importance of the operations of the Polish resistance movement, which was ramified down to the smallest splinter group and brilliantly organized, have been in various sources disclosed in connection with carrying out of major police security operations. Heinrich Himmler, the 31st of December 1942. Topic. Size. In February 1942, when AK was formed, it numbered about 100,000 members. In the beginning of 1943, it had reached a strength of about 200,000. In the summer of 1944 when Operation Tempest begun AK reached its highest membership numbers, though the estimates vary from 300,000 to 500,000. The strength of the second largest resistance organization, Battaliony Kloski Peasants Battalions, can be estimated for summer 1944 at which time they were mostly merged with AK at about 160,000 men. The third largest group include NSZ National Armed Forces with approximately 70,000 men around 1943-1944, only small parts of that force were merged with AK. At its height in 1944, the Communist Army Ludowa, never merged with AK, numbered about 30,000 people. One estimate for the summer 1944 strength of AK and its allies, including NSZ, gives the strength of 650,000. Overall, the Polish resistance have often been described as the largest or one of the largest resistance organizations in World War II Europe. Topic. Actions, operations and intelligence, 1939–1945 Topic. 1939 
On 9 November 1939, two soldiers of the Polish army, Witold Pilecki and Major Jan Wolodarkiewicz, founded the secret Polish army, Tajna Armia Polska, TAP, one of the first underground organizations in Poland after defeat. Pilecki became its organizational commander as TAP expanded to cover not only Warsaw but Siedlce, Radom, Lublin and other major cities of central Poland. By 1940, TAP had approximately 8,000 men more than half of them armed, some 20 machine guns and several anti-tank rifles. Later, the organization was incorporated into the Union for Armed Struggle Zwiazek Waki Z Brojnej, later renamed and better known as the Home Army Armia Krajowa. 1940 In March 1940, a partisan unit of the first guerrilla commanders in the Second World War in Europe under Major Henrik Dobrzanski, Hubel, completely destroyed a battalion of German infantry in a skirmish near the village of Hutchiska. A few days later in an ambush near the village of Chalassie it inflicted heavy casualties upon another German unit. To counter this threat the German authorities formed a special 1,000 men strong anti-partisan unit of combined SS Wehrmacht forces, including a panzer group. Although the unit of Major Dobrzanski never exceeded 300 men, the Germans fielded at least 8,000 men in the area to secure it. In 1940, Witold Pilecki, an intelligence officer for the Polish resistance, presented to his superiors a plan to enter Germany's Auschwitz concentration camp, gather intelligence on the camp from the inside, and organize inmate resistance. The Home Army approved this plan, provided him a false identity card, and on 19 September 1940, he deliberately went out during a street roundup in warsaw Laponka and was caught by the Germans along with other civilians and sent to Auschwitz. In the camp he organized the underground organization Zwiazek Organizaji Waskave, ZAO. From October 1940, ZAO sent its first report about the camp and the genocide in November 1940 to Home Army Headquarters in Warsaw through the resistance network organized in Auschwitz. During the night of 21-22 January 1940, in the Soviet-occupied Podolian town of Zorkow, the Zorkow uprising started, it was the first Polish uprising during World War II. Anti-Soviet Poles, most of them teenagers from local high schools, stormed the local Red Army barracks and a prison, in order to release Polish soldiers kept there. At the end of 1940 Aleksander Kaminski created a Polish youth resistance organization, WAR. It was part of the Zare Szeregi, the underground Polish scouting association. This organization carried out many minor sabotage operations in occupied Poland. Its first action was drawing graffiti in Warsaw around Christmas Eve of 1940 commemorating the war massacre. Members of the AK War, Small Sabotage, units painted, Pomshami War, We'll Avenge War, on Warsaw walls. At first they painted the whole text, then to save time they shortened it to two letters, P and W. Later they invented Kotwika, Anchor, which became the symbol of all Polish resistance in occupied Poland. Topic. 1941 From April 1941 the Bureau of Information and Propaganda of the Union for Armed Struggle started Operation N headed by Tadeusz Zenzikowski. It involved sabotage, subversion and black propaganda activities. From March 1941, Witold Pilecki's reports were forwarded to the Polish government in exile and through it, to the British and other Allied governments. These reports informed the Allies about the Holocaust and were the principal source of intelligence on Auschwitz Birkenau for the Western Allies. On 7 March 1941, two Polish agents of the Home Army killed Nazi collaborator actor Igo Sim in his apartment in Warsaw. In reprisal, 21 Polish hostages were executed. Several Polish actors were also arrested by the Nazis and sent to Auschwitz, among them such notable figures as directors Stefan Jerix and Leon Schiller. In July 1941 Mieczysław Slawikowski using the codename Riger, Polish for Rigor, set up Agency Africa, one of World War II's most successful intelligence organizations. His Polish allies in these endeavors included Lt. Col. G. Widow Langer and Major Maximilian Czeski. The information gathered by the agency was used by the Americans and British in planning the amphibious November 1942 Operation Torch landings in North Africa. 
These were the first large-scale Allied landings of the war, and their success in turn paved the way for the Allies' Italian campaign. 1942. On 20 June 1942, the most spectacular escape from Auschwitz concentration camp took place. Four Poles, Eugenius Bendura, Kazimierz Pichowski, Stanislaw Gustaw Jaster and Josef Lempart made a daring escape. The escapees were dressed as members of the SS Todinkofferbande, fully armed and in an SS staff car. They drove out the main gate in a stolen Rudolf Haas automobile Stair 220 with a smuggled report from Wit Old Pilecki about the Holocaust. The Germans never recaptured any of them. In September 1942, the Zygota Council for the Aid of the Jews was founded by Zofia Kosak Sztuka and Wanda Kralska Filipowicz Alinka, and made up of Polish Democrats as well as other Catholic activists. Poland was the only country in occupied Europe where there existed such a dedicated secret organization. Half of the Jews who survived the war thus over 50, were aided in some shape or form by Zygota. The best known activist of Zygota was Irena Sendler, head of the Children's Division, who saved 2,500 Jewish children by smuggling them out of the Warsaw Ghetto, providing them with false documents, and sheltering them in individual and group children's homes outside the ghetto. In 1942, Jan Karski reported to the Polish, British, and U.S. governments on the situation in Poland, especially the Holocaust of the Jews. He met with Polish politicians in exile including the Prime Minister, and members of political parties such as the Socialist Party, National Party, Labour Party, People's Party, Jewish Bund and Pole Zion. He also spoke to Anthony Eden, the British Foreign Secretary, and included a detailed statement on what he had seen in Warsaw and Belzec. The Zamosk uprising was an armed uprising of Armia Krajowa and Battalion Kloski against the forced expulsion of Poles from the Zamosk region under the Nazi General Plan Ost. The Germans attempted to remove the local Poles from the Greater Zamosk area, through forced removal, transfer to forced labor camps, or, in some cases, mass murder, to get it ready for German colonization. It lasted from 1942 until 1944 and despite heavy casualties suffered by the underground, the Germans failed. On the night from 7 to 8 October 1942 Operation Wienik started. It targeted rail infrastructure near Warsaw. Similar operations aimed at disrupting German transport and communication in occupied Poland occurred in the coming months and years. It targeted railroads, bridges and supply depots, primarily near transport hubs such as Warsaw and Lublin. 1943 In early 1943 two Polish janitors of Peenemans Camp Trasenhide provided maps, sketches and reports to Armia Krajowa intelligence, and in June 1943 British intelligence had received two such reports which identified the "...rocket assembly hall, experimental pit, and launching tower." When reconnaissance and intelligence information regarding the V-2 rocket became convincing, the War Cabinet Defense Committee operations directed the campaign's first planned raid the Operation Hydra bombing of Peenemünde in August 1943 and Operation Crossbow, on 26 March 1943 in Warsaw Operation Arsenal was launched by the Zare Szeregi Grey Ranks Polish underground the successful operation led to the release of arrest Arrested troop leader Jan Beitner. Rudy. In an attack on the prison, Beitner and 24 other prisoners were freed. In 1943, in London, Jan Karski met the then much known journalist Arthur Kosler. He then travelled to the United States and reported to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. His report was a major factor in informing the West. In July 1943, again personally reported to Roosevelt about the situation in Poland. He also met with many other government and civic leaders in the United States, including Felix Frankfurter, Cordell Hull, William Joseph Donovan, and Stephen Wise. Karski also presented his report to media, bishops of various denominations including Cardinal Samuel Stritch, members of the Hollywood film industry and artists, but without success. Many of those he spoke to did not believe him, or supposed that his testimony was much exaggerated or was propaganda from the Polish government in exile. In April 1943 the Germans began deporting the remaining Jews from the Warsaw Ghetto provoking the Warsaw Ghetto Rising, 19 April to 16 May. 
Polish underground state ordered ghetto action – series of combat actions carried out by the Home Army during the uprising between 19 April 1943 and May 16, 1943. Some units of the AK tried to assist the ghetto rising, but for the most part the resistance was unprepared and unable to defeat the Germans. One Polish AK unit, the National Security Corps Corpus Bezpieczeństwa, under the command of Henryk Iwanski fought inside the ghetto along with subsequently both groups retreated together including 34 Jewish fighters although Ivansky's action is the most well-known rescue mission it was only one of many actions undertaken by the Polish resistance to help the Jewish fighters in one attack three cell units of AK under the command of Kapitan Józef Pasheny Schwatzki tried to breach the ghetto walls with explosives but the Germans defeated this action AK and GL engaged the Germans between 19 and 23 April at six different locations outside the ghetto walls, shooting at German sentries and positions and in one case attempting to blow up a gate. Participation of the Polish underground in the uprising was many times confirmed by a report of the German commander, Jürgen Stroop. When we invaded the ghetto for the first time, the Jews and the Polish bandits succeeded in repelling the participating units, including tanks and armored cars, by a well-prepared concentration of fire. The main Jewish battle group, mixed with Polish bandits, had already retired during the first and second day to the so-called Muranowski Square. There, it was reinforced by a considerable number of Polish bandits. Its plan was to hold the ghetto by every means in order to prevent us from invading it, Time and again Polish bandits found refuge in the ghetto and remained there undisturbed, since we had no forces at our disposal to comb out this maze. One such battle group succeeded in mounting a truck by ascending from a sewer in the so-called Prosta Street, and in escaping with it about 30 to 35 bandits. The bandits and Jews, there were Polish bandits among these gangs armed with carbines, small arms, and in one case a light machine gun, mounted the truck and drove away in an unknown direction. In August 1943 the headquarters of the Armia Krajowa ordered Operation Belt which was one of the large-scale anti-Nazi operations of the AK during the war. By February 1944, 13 German outposts were destroyed with few losses on the Polish side. Operation Heads began, the serial executions of German personnel who had been sentenced to death by Polish underground special courts for crimes against Polish citizens in German-occupied Poland. On 7 September 1943, the Home Army killed Franz Berkel during Operation Berkel. Berkel was a high-ranking Gestapo agent responsible for the murder and brutal interrogation of thousands of Polish Jews and resistance fighters and supporters. In reprisal, 20 inmates of Paviak were murdered in a public execution by the Nazis. From November 1943, Operation Most 3 started. The Armia Krajowa provided the Allies with crucial intelligence on the German V-2 rocket. In effect some 50 kilograms of the most important parts of the captured V-2, as well as the final report, analyses, sketches and photos, were transported to Brindisi by a Royal Air Force Douglas Dakota aircraft. In late July 1944, the V-2 parts were delivered to London. 1944. On the 11th of February 1944, the resistance fighters of Polish Home Army's unit Agat executed Franz Kitskera, SS and Reich's police chief in Warsaw in action known as Operation Kitskera. In a reprisal of this action, the 27th of February 140 inmates of Paviak, Poles and Jews were shot in a public execution by the Germans. 13 to 14 May 1944, the Battle of Murawana Ozmianka, the largest clash between the Polish anti-Nazi Armia Krajowa and the Nazi Lithuanian Territorial Defense Force, a Lithuanian volunteer security force subordinated to Nazi Germany. The battle took place in and near the village of Murawana Ozmianka in General Bezirk Litauen Reichskommissariat Ostland. The outcome of the battle was that the 301st LVR battalion was routed and the entire force was disbanded by the Germans soon afterwards. On the 14th of June 1944, the Battle of Poratow was Gors took place between Polish and Russian partisans, numbering around 3000, and the Nazi German units consisted of between 25,000 and 30,000 soldiers with artillery, tanks and armored cars and air support. On 25 to 26 June 1944, the Battle of Asuchi, one of the largest 
battles between the Polish resistance and Nazi Germany in occupied Poland during World War II was fought, in what was essentially a continuation of the Zamosk Uprising. During 1943, the Home Army built up its forces in preparation for a national uprising. The plan of national anti Nazi uprising on areas of pre war Poland was code named Operation Tempest. Preparation began in late 1943 but the military actions started in 1944. Its most widely known elements were Operation Ostra Brahma, Lwów Uprising and the Warsaw Uprising. On the 7th of July, Operation Ostra Brahma started. Approximately 12,500 Home Army soldiers attacked the German garrison and managed to seize most of the city center. Heavy street fighting in the outskirts of the city lasted until the 14th of July. In Vilnius' eastern suburbs, the Home Army units cooperated with reconnaissance groups of the Soviet Third Belarusian Front. The Red Army entered the city on 15 July, and the NKVD started to intern all Polish soldiers. On 16 July, the HQ of the Third Belarusian Front invited Polish officers to a meeting and arrested them. On 23 July the Lwów Uprising the armed struggle started by the army of Krajowa against the Nazi occupiers in Lwów during World War II started. It started in July 1944 as a part of a plan of all national uprising codenamed Operation Tempest. The fighting lasted until 27 July and resulted in liberation of the city. However, shortly afterwards the Polish soldiers were arrested by the invading Soviets and either forced to join the Red Army or sent to the Gulags. The city itself was occupied by the Soviet Union. In August 1944, as the Soviet armed forces approached Warsaw, the government in exile called for an uprising in the city, so that they could return to a liberated Warsaw and try to prevent a communist takeover. The AK, led by Tadeusz Bor Komarowski, launched the Warsaw Uprising. Soviet forces were less than 20 kilometers away, but on the orders of Soviet high command, they gave no assistance. Stalin described the uprising as a criminal adventure. The Poles appealed to the Western Allies for help. The Royal Air Force, and the Polish Air Force based in Italy, dropped some munitions, but it was almost impossible for the Allies to help the Poles without Soviet assistance. The fighting in Warsaw was desperate. The AK had between 12,000 and 20,000 armed soldiers, most with only small arms, against a well-armed German army of 20,000 SS and regular army units. Bor Komarowski's hope that the AK could take and hold Warsaw for the return of the London government was never likely to be achieved. After 63 days of savage fighting the city was reduced to rubble, and the reprisals were savage. The SS and auxiliary units were particularly brutal. After Bor Komarowski's surrender, the AK fighters were treated as prisoners of war by the Germans, much to the outrage of Stalin, but the civilian population were ruthlessly punished. Overall Polish casualties are estimated to be between 150,000 to 300,000 killed, 90,000 civilians were sent to labor camps in the Reich, while 60,000 were shipped to death and concentration camps such as Ravensbrück, Auschwitz, Mauthausen and others. The city was almost totally destroyed after German sappers systematically demolished the city. The Warsaw Uprising allowed the Germans to destroy the AK as a fighting force, but the main beneficiary was Stalin, who was able to impose a communist government on post-war Poland with little fear of armed resistance. 1945 In March 1945, a staged trial of 16 leaders of the Polish underground state held by the Soviet Union took place in Moscow trial of the, 16. the government delegate, together with most members of the Council of National Unity and the CIC of the Armia Krajowa, were invited by Soviet General Ivan Serov with agreement of Joseph Stalin to a conference on their eventual entry to the Soviet-backed provisional government. They were presented with a warrant of safety, yet they were arrested in Pruskow by the NKVD on 27 and 28 March. Leopold Okulicki, Jan Stanislaw Jankowski and Kazimierz Puzik were arrested on 27 with 12 more the next day. A. Zwerzynski had been arrested earlier. They were brought to Moscow for interrogation in the Lubyanka. After several months of brutal interrogation and torture, they were presented with the forged accusations of collaboration with Nazi Germany and planning a military alliance with Nazi Germany. In the latter years of the war, there were increasing conflicts between Polish and Soviet partisans. Cursed soldiers continued to oppose the Soviets long after the war. 
The last cursed soldier, member of the militant anti-communist resistance in Poland was Józef Franczak who was killed with pistol in his hand by Zomo in 1963. On 5 May 1945 in Bohemia, the Narodow Sili Z Brogne Brigade liberated prisoners from a Nazi concentration camp in Halizowo, including 280 Jewish women prisoners. The brigade suffered heavy casualties. On 21 May 1945, a unit of the Armia Krajowa, led by Colonel Edward Vasilevsky, attacked a NKVD camp located in Remberto on the eastern outskirts of Warsaw. The Soviets kept their hundreds of Poles, members of the Home Army, whom they were systematically deporting to Siberia. However, this action of the pro-independence Polish resistance freed all Polish political prisoners from the camp. Between 1944 to 1946, cursed soldiers attacked many communist prisons in Soviet-occupied Poland. See raids on communist prisons in Poland, 1944 to 1946. On the 7th of May 1945, in the village of Kurilauka, southeastern Poland, the Battle of Kurilauka started. It was the biggest battle in the history of the Cursed Soldiers Organization, National Military Alliance (NZW). In battle against Soviet Union's NKVD units, anti-communist partisans shot 70 NKVD agents. The battle ended in a victory for the underground Polish forces. From 10 to 25 June 1945, Augusto Chase 1945, the Polish Oblawa Augustowska, took place. It was a large-scale operation undertaken by Soviet forces of the Red Army, the NKVD and Smirsch, with the assistance of Polish UB and LWP units against former Armia Krajowa soldiers in the Sawaki and Augusto region in Poland. The operation also covered territory in occupied Lithuania. More than 2,000 alleged Polish anti-communist fighters were captured and detained in Russian internment camps. 600 of the Augusto missing are presumed dead and buried in an unknown location in the present territory of Russia. The Augusto Roundup was part of an anti-guerrilla operation in Lithuania. <laughs> Formations <laughs> See also Topic Notes A carrot a number of sources note that the Home Army, representing the bulk of Polish resistance, was the largest resistance movement in Nazi occupied Europe. Norman Davies writes that the Armia Krajowa Home Army, the AK could fairly claim to be the largest of European resistance organizations. Gregor Dallas writes that the Home Army Armia Krajowa or AK in late 1943 numbered around 400,000, making it the largest resistance organization in Europe." Mark Wyman writes that the "...Armia Krajowa was considered the largest underground resistance unit in wartime Europe." The numbers of Soviet partisans were very similar to those of the Polish resistance. References Topic Bibliography Topic External Links Polish Contribution to World War II Polish Underground State Movie on YouTube Armia Krajowa Armia Krajowa Die Stunned W Narodow Sili Z Brogne Anne Sue Caldwell, Poland, Here is the Record at the Wayback Machine archived the 27th of July 2011. Polonia Online. Polish Resistance in World War II Tadeusz Wichrowski, Witcher. Warsaw Uprising 1944 History of Warsaw's Contributions Levied by the German Occupation Authority.